Yo, what's up guys, it's Tank, and uh, we're going to take a look at this latest dev update from Behavior. This is the last dev update of the year. Uh, there are some really, really damn good things in here. But unfortunately, uh, it has put a sour taste in my mouth, and I am going to tear that part insane. So, uh, there are some really awesome things like bots and custom matches. So now you can literally just fill up a lobby and private match full of bots. Uh, this is coming in the next update, so that's pretty great. Uh, there are no killer bots at this time, only survivor bots, but this means that if you want to try out a new killer, uh, for example, in the next update, which is going to be uh, a chapter release, uh, you don't actually have to sit 8 billion years in a queue. You can just go into custom games and try out the killer, and that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, this also means that for uh, YouTubers and streamers and stuff, uh, when you're trying to make content, specifically like um, like guides on parts of the map or whatever, um, or, or a brief video, and, and you need just a, a small 10 second clip of something, you actually don't need to ask one of your friends to jump into a custom game now, uh, which means that from, from my perspective, I'm going to be able to make a lot more uh, interesting videos for you guys because I can just do this. I don't have to go out of my way and get someone to help me. So this is just a great, great feature. We've been wanting this for a while. It's in the game. Uh, this I'm going to cover this last because this is cringe. Uh, flashlight adjustments. Uh, so locker blind immunity. So as... We know there is no counterplay to a locker blind. Basically, uh, there's lots of lockers on the map where there's like two lockers right next to each other or they're very close to each other. And if a survivor uh, teams up with another survivor with flashlights and they jump in the locker, there's nothing you can do. If you pull the survivor out of that locker, the other survivor will blind you every single time and then they just rinse, repeat that whole whole process it's really really obnoxious there's no counterplay it's just to waste the killer's time it does literally nothing for the game except be annoying uh so what they're doing is they're removing that completely uh you can no longer blind the killer when they are opening a locker basically uh, so if they're grabbing the survivor out of locker you can't blind them which i think is perfectly fine there's some people on twitter who are saying you just killed the game my brother in christ this is one change if this is the only thing that's keeping you in the game you probably don't even like dead by daylight to begin with uh this is the part that's a little interesting um they're making it so that you actually don't have to time flashlight saves anymore uh which is very terrifying because uh there was a patch a long long time ago uh, where if you were to blind or stun a killer at any point in the stun or blind animation, uh, like the pickup animation, I mean, if you if you're blind or stun the killer at any point when they're picking up a survivor, it would just free the survivor at the moment, which was awful. Uh, it looks like they're sort of trying that again, uh, but with a, a short buffer at the end. So it's a quarter second. So I, I don't know how long it takes to pick up a survivor. Uh, let's just say it takes like two seconds. It means that if you stun the killer, at the trail end of two seconds, so 1.75. Um, then when the animation's actually over, it, it will, it will of course work. Uh, so this is very intriguing. I'm not entirely against it because I do get it. You know, sometimes variants in ping can, uh, can, you know, be annoying and prevent flashlight saves from working. Sometimes you actually did time it correctly, but for whatever reason, um, it just doesn't work. So, yeah, uh, I get it. So I'm willing to see how this works out, uh, but it could potentially lead to problems. So I do think that uh, they will proceed with extreme caution on this one. Uh, matchmaking incentives. So we got some changes to, uh, to I guess, um, or matchmaking improvement. I don't know where I got incentives from. Probably the I. But uh, there's now team-based ratings. So basically, um, your whole team, all four survivors, uh, like MMR is taken into account now rather than just you uh, before how the MMR worked was it was just a 1v1 v1 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 right it was literally just uh, everyone is a free-for-all against the killer now it's going to be literally a 4v1 so certain interactions and things in the team are actually going to boost MMR even if you uh, you know don't make it out basically uh, so yeah that's that's good 
because Dead by Daylight is a team-based game. Some of the better perks in Dead by Daylight focus on team play, so this is just doubling down on that whole uh, idea. Uh, and extended breaks um, basically just makes it so, you know, if if you're taking a break from Dead by Daylight, when you come back, your MMR isn't going to be, like, super high anymore. And uh, this is, of course, coming in the 6.4 update, so that's nice. Uh, dream! Uh, okay, an update on cheating. Uh, prevented cheaters from hooking them. So basically, uh, this is a whole thing on uh, their previous update to cheating. So basically, they tried to fix some vulnerabilities in the game. They tried to patch some rough spots out to make it so that cheaters can't easily abuse certain things. So what they've done is they made it so that cheaters can no longer hook themselves. Cheaters can no longer instantly complete gens. They can't bring more uh, than two killers into a game. They can't stack perks and add-ons, so cheaters used to literally run every single perk in the game, like, multiple times to get certain effects. Um, they can't make flashlight blinds, like, infinite anymore. Um, of course, the match will eventually end, um, as we see with these two changes. They already talked about this publicly, so that's fine. They added countermeasures to uh, sniping and uh, allowed cheaters to crash the game. So fixed an issue that allowed cheaters to crash the game. So you can no longer force uh, people to crash the game, which is fantastic. Um, and they are just saying that, yep, yeah, these worked. Uh, cheaters can't do this anymore, and uh, we're pretty happy about it. So that's cool. Uh, they also, this is not really anything super insane. They just changed the temporary ban system uh, that's been in the game literally like since launch. Uh, so now it's 48 hours instead of 24 for your first strike, a week instead of 48 hours, a month for your third strike, and then your fourth strike is still permanent, which is unchanged. Um, and so this is just to get rid of bad actors in the community and make it so that if you're a toxic piece of shit, uh, you kind of get what you deserve. Um, now we go to the bad. Oh my god, why? So they're changing walls. This looks bad. It just looks terrible. And this is, they tried this in the Hellraiser PTB and it looked awful. It just looked absolutely awful. I don't know why they're trying to push it again. It looks like, it looks like dog water. I'm, that's my feedback. Revert it. Make this the old palette that we had literally right now. Because this, this looks like trash. This is terrible. You're not going to be able to, to make this out um uh when you're you know around the map it needs to be visually striking it needs to pop lots of color this is so desaturated you're not gonna be able to see this look it like the wood color literally blends in with the shack wall you're telling me on a map like crotus print asylum where everything is like grayscale and muddy that you're going to be able to tell where a palette is no, you're not. It looks literally like a fucking wall. So this is terrible. This is, ugh. I I much prefer the current breakable wall. They could maybe up the textures on the old breakable wall instead of making a new one. This looks terrible. This looks terrible. Um, this though looks pretty epic. So they actually finally, after so long, have uh, updated the basement. Even on reworked maps, the basement always looked the same. It was like this crappy 2016 version. Now the basement's fucking pog. Look at this. That is beautiful. Uh, they completely changed the layout. It looks much closer to like the concept art uh, of what the basement was originally meant to look like, which is kind of cool. But uh, man, the staircase, the, the, the crappy little wooden walls are gone and they're replaced with like concrete and stuff this looks very very cool i am in love with the new basement uh, but yeah the palette and wall models those got to go this is honestly the worst part about the update to be completely frank it this just sucks um but uh, that's all i gotta say about this uh thank you so much for watching and i uh, hope this was informative uh link below if you want to read this yourself because obviously i did skip a lot of the text so uh yeah that's all i gotta say see ya